on your donkey. Mounted. Here we are, gents. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Betty. <laughs> Bit early, ain't it, love? Yes, well, I thought you may not be able to get out to eat if you're off up. Hey? You know. <laughs> oh, aye, aye, of course. Have you got some answer? Me? No, no, no plan. Oh, I'll get that. Bet you're all right. As far as I know. Oh, seems a bit cheerful, that's all. You've got a couple of visitors. Oh, aye. Right. Oh, Dad. Huh? Hi, Seth. Uh, I wonder if you fancy coming out to get that fresh trout you told me about. Oh, I don't know about that, lad. That spot's quite away from here. Oh, don't worry, I'll drive. Lisa's lent me the van. I'm coming too, Seth. I'm skiving off work special. Oh, why not? Do you know, I, I haven't been fishing for ages. I hope this is all above board, Seth Armstrong. Of course it is, love. Aye, well, it better be. Well, the eye don't see it. <laughs> well, we'd better get a tackle together. Uh, like I said, <laughs> I've been fishing for ages, especially for uh, fresh trout, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, so I'll come and get you after lunch then, shall I? I'm right looking forward to this, mate. <laughs> you sure would I be if you'd been invited along? Is that okay then? Great, well, if he's not there by five, give us a call and I'll chase him up. Okay, bye. Someone's been kept busy, I see. Sean, as it happens, I'm sending him to bank for the afternoon. You're sending Mr. Congeniality on two trips in one day? Three, actually. Well, we're short staffed, aren't we? He won't like it. Well, I shall have to lump it. Look, Chris, was there uh, something you wanted? Oh, pardon me for coming to see how you're doing. Sorry, only I'm up to my eyes in it here. So, how about I take you out tonight to say thanks for taking over here? And for doing it competently, by the way, sir. Sounds good to me, yeah. Thanks. Hello, Tate Harledge. Oh, hello. I'll uh, leave you too. Um, within the next hour? How are we doing? Up, line and sink you. Right then. Are we ready to go, Sam? What? Are we ready to go? Oh, right. I I'm ready when you are. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, ready for off, are we? Yep. Uh, ah, like I said, I've not been fishing for a while. No? So? Oh, I mean, bigger the gang, the more trout you're likely to catch, obviously. Yeah, that's the three of us. Yeah? No, I'm just saying I could chag along if you like. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. You sure you're not too busy? Well. Let's just say uh, windows opened up in my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Better get in. I'm back. So, how long are you looking after the place then? Well, we haven't really gone into that sort of detail. <laughs> Fairly typical. Carol never did have any consideration. Faith. Well, it's true. Poor Alan's supposed to be a paying guest, not a relief manager. Well, I offered, actually. £19.80, oh. please. Tell you what, Bob, we could put in an offer when she puts it on the market. Just think, we could own that B and B after all. Do you think Carol really will sell her? Yes, definitely. I know her. She's got no reason to keep it now she's lost interest. I always said it had potential. Yeah, very true. Look, Viv, even if Carol were going to sell the B and B, it's not for us oh, to. Oh, stop in. worrying. I was only putting in leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm still. I'll see you. Bye. Yeah, bye, Alan. So it's true, then. The old bag from the B&B is definitely gone for good. Apparently. When my mum and our Danny stayed there, she were all right. Sorry. She went a friend of yours, was she? Not as it turned out, no. So, where is it, then? This place. Oh, you'll not know it, lad. Only heard about it myself a few days ago. Well, I shall know it. <laughs> where is it near? It's... Right over the other side of Leeds, didn't you say, Seth? I did. Yeah, uh, a bit of a way, a place called... Clearwater. Oh, you're right. I don't know it. Hiya. Oh, <laughs> a jump. You're working hard. 
Of course I am. Look, what are you doing here? Supposing someone sees. I've every right to be here. Officially, I'm the boss, remember? Do you mind? Some of us have work to do, you know. Why do you think I was so keen to get you here in the first place? I told you I was going to do this properly. Come on, Charity, we're on our own for once. Zoe! <sighs> Look, I'd love to spend time with you, but right now I'm busy. All right, when then? What? Well, you'd love to spend time with me when? Tonight? OK. No, no not tonight. Chris is taking me out. Oh, imagine my surprise. <sighs> Look, Zoe, tomorrow night, how's that? Come on, give us a break, eh? Tomorrow night it is, then. <phone rings> Saved by the bell. I'm only like this because I care, you know. I know! That's 360, please. Tough. So Alan's running the B&B &B on his own, is he? No, no. Yours truly will be helping out when he can. I don't know why you think it's got to be your responsibility. Well, it's not. But Carol was, I'd had you forgotten. That was I. No, a stupid cow walks off onto the sunset thinking that I'll carry the can for her. Women always do. No need to take it out on Viv, though, eh, mate? No. No, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, no offence, Viv, eh? I'm taken. Oh, the point is, I just don't think it's fair landing it all on out. Well, he seems happy enough. Anyway, I don't think it will be for long. Carol's bound to sell out. Hey, just as long as we don't start thinking about buyers, eh, love? Well, only one tiny little joke at your expense and you go all to pieces, don't right. you? I'm just the old grindstone. Terry, Alan's OK about all this, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's as well as can be expected. Keep myself busy, any road. I just, you know, worry about him, that's all. Yeah, fair's fair. But if you really want to know what he's like, maybe you should ask him yourself. See ya. Orange juice, please, Diane. Diane. Sorry, love, miles away. Orange, yeah? Thanks. Health kick, is it? No. I've got a mound of paperwork to get through this afternoon. I need a clear head. All oh, right. Yeah, we're short-staffed at the moment. Some muggins here has been out in the wagons all morning. And now I'm going to spend the afternoon catching up. Oh, you're right, bunch of grafters you lot, aren't you? Meaning? Oh. Eighty pence, please. You on your wagons, your mark working here, your wife pounding the beat, protecting and serving, and now your lass, you know, grafting down at Pollard's place. It's nothing to do with you either way, is it? Just making conversation. Lisa? Mm -hmm. No, I was... I was just wondering, have you, uh, have you spoken to your Zach lately? <laughs> no. Why? No, it's just that he's gone off, well, on a sort of a, a trip, really, and I... Well, I wasn't supposed to say out, but... Yeah, I saw Sam this morning getting his fishing tackle out, and I thought, I expect Zach's going with him. No, it, it, it's just that it's something I think you ought to know about. Me? Yeah. Why should I care? Well, I'm sorry, it's out of the question. Well, it's only half an hour. I've already got Cynthia going early to look after the baby, and Lord alone knows where Sam is. Yeah, but... I've said all I'm going to say on the subject. If it was some sort of family emergency, then of course it would be different. I never said it wasn't some sort of family emergency. Oh, and is it? Well, no, but... Well, then the answer's the same. You cannot leave half an hour early today. No dice, love. No, surprise, surprise. I told you you should have let me speak to her. Well, what's the point? Who needs a social life anyway? That's the way of the world, love. Some of us do all the grafting and others do all the sponging and usually it's the men. Am I right, ladies? No, oh, I. I take it you mean yours, eh? Who else do you think I mean? <laughs> Lisa. Doing now all day while I'm hard at work here just to feed his children makes quite the point, I think. Yeah, well, I know he has put you through it this last couple of weeks, but... Too right, Betty. There's no good you standing up for him. I know that look. No, I'm not looking like anything, I promise you. All right, but I'm in no mood to have him defended. Not when he's likely down the woolly with our Sam getting blathered or out the betting shop with your Seth or out poaching with Perenham. Well, of course it is. I mean, why else would Sam get his stuff out? Of course he is. He doesn't go off poaching on his Todd. Unless you know something different, Betty. Lisa, I'm not supposed to say out. They told me not to, but... But what? <sighs> it's about your Zach. 
Before all this blew up, well, well, he found a lump. A lump? What do you mean, a lump? Yeah, you know, a lump. Are you trying to tell me there's something wrong, physically, with my Zag? He's gone to see a specialist in Leeds and apparently, I mean, there is a chance that it might be, might be cancer. <laughs> How long has he been going through all this? You should have said something before, Betty. Well, I couldn't. Zach didn't even know he was going into hospital. And if it'd have let on to you and Zach would have found out, we'd have been back to square one again. Oh, stupid, stupid man, he should have told me. Yeah, but something like this. How could he? You know what they like. It's all to do with the male pride, isn't it? I've been so blind, I should have thought. No, you couldn't know what had happened. No, but I could have seen. I could have seen he weren't being his usual self. That's easily said with hindsight. Right. They're going down the hospital now, you say? Yeah, but he thinks he's going poaching. Right. You tell her where I'm going. See you a lot later. Uh, excuse me. I can't please. stop now, Gloria. <laughs> See you. Would somebody mind explaining to me where she thinks she's going? It's a family emergency. Right, Betty? Definitely. So where is this place? It's built up round here, isn't it? You'll know soon enough. Well, good. Took you long enough to get there. Left or right, Seth? I'm not sure. Pass it over. Listen, lads, when we get there, I'm gonna have to drop you off and get back to work. So why are we getting back? I'll pick you up. They said it wouldn't take more than an hour. What? Who's there? No one. An hour? Since when did out to do with fishing take only an hour? Where are you taking me? Hey? Come on, Marlon. I won't ask you twice. Hospital? You what? We made another appointment for you. Right. Zack! Zack! Zack, this is important! Yeah, but you can't force me in there! Come on, Dad! No! It's all right, Marlon. Let him go. What? I suppose you might be all right. Might be not that lump. You might be lucky. Exactly. So believe you might not. It's like when you're picking winners. It's a feeling you get, isn't it? So you've got to ask yourself, do I feel lucky? <laughs> Nice to see you too. No, I mean. You know, I never thought I'd be so glad to be doing paperwork. I'm getting too old for driving, I tell you. You're just about to get that bit older, I'm afraid. You're supposed to be on your way to Bangor. Bangor? As in Wales? Pick up there, drop off in Leeds. And you may as well know now that you're going to be doing that until the end of the week. I thought we weren't taking on any more work. Not till we sort out the staffing. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not like making money? Charity? Look, what can I say? It came up at the last minute. They asked if we had a driver and I said we had. I'll tell you what. You can either get on with it or you can ring up and say that we're crying off. Then you can explain why to Chris and Zoe. Shouldn't be long now, eh? Eh? Do you reckon? Well, at least we got here. That's the main thing. I thought for a minute we were going to run off back to the village. Ah, well. By rights, I should be giving you a good hiding. Sorry, Dad. We're just looking out for you. Yeah. Well, have you ever tried tricking me again, lad? Like Leave that? him alone. You know he were right. And just because you're nervous, there's no need to pick on him, is there? Mr. Dingle? Yeah, this is it. Do you want me to come with you? Lisa! Oh, is that love? I'm sorry, I'm 
sorry. It's not to be sorry about. Why couldn't you tell me? Just, Why didn't you say? I just couldn't. I thought about this. We're not supposed to have any secrets, remember? I don't. I'm sorry. Hey, yeah. Oh, hiya, Terry. Hey, listen, I heard about Carol. I'm really sorry. No, you're not. I am. Well, OK. I'm not sorry to sit back of her, but I am sorry to sit mess she's landed in. You know, someone suggested that I should just walk away from B&B &B today. Well, it's not your problem, is it? No. I can't leave Al to cope in his own. Mind you, but I'm going to find the time to be chief cook and bottle washer, God only knows. I could help. Sorry, love? I'm going to need a job, ain't I? And bottle washing's something I'm learning to do quite well at the moment. What do you think, Terry? I can only ask. Yeah. I'll talk to Mr Turner. Cheers. Please take a seat, Mr Dingle. OK. What we're going to do is send you down to radiology. We'll take some blood tests and give you an ultrasound scan. Oh, good. At least I'll find out whether I'm pregnant or not, eh? <laughs> it's perfectly understandable you're worried. But as I said before, you did very well to come to us so promptly. I still can't believe he never told me. Not that way. Let me reassure you. Testicular cancer is the most curable form of cancer, and it's extremely rare in a man of your age. I've heard that, yeah. Now, this, um, the ultrasound thing, now, that'll prove things one way or the other, yeah? Pretty much. If your lump's filled with fluid, then it may just be a cyst. If it's solid, then the chances are it's a cancer. I'll just set you up with radiology. It won't take a second. What's her name again? Letitia. She's Cynthia's girl. Ah, yes. Yes, I've seen her around. Well, she won't be available all the time, but, uh, well, obviously, I'll try and help out when I can. This is all a bit above and beyond the call, don't you think? Well, it's just that, uh, well, I feel responsible, that's all. Well, don't worry about it. To be honest, I'm glad to have something to do. It saves me sitting around here twiddling my thumbs all day. Hi. Uh, hello. Can I come in? Yes, of course. Hi, Terry. I am. Right, well, uh, I suppose I better be going. Things to do. So, um, it'll be all right if I tell Letitia that it's a possibility, then. Yeah, tell her to come and see me. Good. Right. Diane? Bye, Terry. Drink? I'm going to have one. Not now, thanks. So, how are you? All right. I've been better, obviously. Yeah. Expect you have. Why have you come here, Diane? Oh. I just wondered if there was any chance of you coming into the wool pack. You know, just for a drink. Looks like I'm going to be rather busy here for a while. Alan, I know things have been said that we might both regret, but I don't want to lose your friendship. I need you to know that. I don't think I regret saying anything. I should go. All right. You <laughs> big you are. I thought you were knocking off early. No, oh, I couldn't get the time. You better not come too near to the house. Oh, well, we should tough it out. Get out in the open. What do you reckon? No, they'll go mental. Oh, they've got to know sometime. Oh, Kane, stop taking the mick. I'm serious. All right. I'll make sure no one sees me, OK? <laughs> Right. This is the ultrasound picture we took of your testicles and scrotum, Mr Dingle. And this is the lump that's causing all the problems. I'm afraid it's not filled with fluid. It's solid. Which means it's quite likely to be a cancer. No. Oh. You said it was unlikely. In a man my age, you said it was really unlikely. I did. It, it looks as if you may have been unlucky. So... What we're going to do is book you in for an operation to remove it. It's called an orchidectomy. You're going to cut it off? My testicle? I'm afraid it's the only way of actually telling whether it definitely is cancer. Oh. 
Homework. Got behind. Ah. Oh, I'd love a drink, Chris. Thank you so much for offering. Well, you know where the bottle is. Oh, oh I won't be around for dinner, by the way. Oh, not with charity, are we? I thought I'd show my appreciation for all the hard work she's been doing, yes. I presume there's no problem with that. Hello. Speaking of which... Hiya. Hi, honey, I'm home. <laughs> a nice day at the office, darling. Mm. Drink? Oh, I don't mind if I do. I think I'll excuse myself from this little charade, if you don't mind. I've got work to do. Lisa. Yes, love? Lisa, I've got cancer. I know, love. I've got cancer. Yeah. And you've got a very good chance. 90% success rate, he said. And you and me, we're going to be... We'll be just like we was before. Right as rain. He said so. He said... I'd have a good chance of not getting it in the first place. Lisa, they're going to cut me up, but what kind of a man am I going to be then? Now, listen to me, Zach Dingle. You are going to get through this, and I'm going to get through this with you. Do you understand? Zach Dingle's got cancer. Well, watch out, cancer, that's what I say. Huh? You are going to be OK. Huh? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take you home, where you belong. <laughs> 